Welcome. My name is Alpo and welcome to Maricopa AZ Living. I hope you're having a great day. Today's Saturday. It is the 18th of December. We are getting ready to go into our holiday season. I really want to uh, thank any all of you for coming in. Uh, let's get right to the point. I did a survey here. How does the tap water taste in Maricopa? I'm posting a video on the water in Maricopa. I want your opinion. 7% said really good. 83% said really bad. 10% said I could care less. It's water. I want to read some of the comments uh, from this. 168 people voted on this. I thought that was really good. I thought I, I was lucky. I thought I wasn't even going to get 100. So thanks, everyone. Let's start off with Cindy Accord. She says, it actually makes my family physically sick. We had to get RO, reverse osmosis system. Tony Richmond, I drink it if I were dying. But when we sold our house and moved into a place without RO, I stopped drinking water. Right now, we buy our drinking water because I won't even make coffee with it or use it to make rice. Makes everything taste like it came out of dirty shorts. Don't think I could have said it any better than that. Roxanne Smith, do not drink it. Do not cook with it or give it to your pets. Bad enough to shower in it. I have lived here since 2008. They were forced to disclose high toxicity several times in writing. Arsenic is one big problem. Open wells, farm chemicals. Better get bottled distills. And please don't give it to your kids or pets. Now, this is what we use right now. We have uh, we do two distillers. The one on the left makes one gallon um, in about three hours, and the one on the right will make less than a gallon for uh, in about a little over two hours. The one on the right you can um, can make eight gallons a day. The one on the left you probably should only use it uh, maybe once or twice a day. Uh, otherwise, it wears out. The one on the left uh, is about $250. It is a really good one, one of the best ones. on, uh, And you get that on Amazon. And this pure water one on the right, um, you can get, it's 600 new, but I, sometimes you can buy these things on Craigslist. But my suggestion is for you to get one. Now, through scrimping and saving and doing everything we can, we finally were able to get a bigger system that is going to be connected uh, this week. Uh, My Maricopa Plumbing is coming out to do it. You literally have to run a line through uh, the ceiling, a water line, and it comes down. But this little puppy is going to make um, 12 gallons a day. Um, sometimes you can find these things. These things are like $1,900. We actually got ours for half the price because somebody tried to put it in their house, in their apartment, and their landlord told them you can't do it and they couldn't get their money back. So, you know, we're going to really start this clip here. And just to know this, I just want you to know that this clip that I'm showing you is called Water Disguised for Your Eyes Revealed. And if you look down there at the bottom corner, you'll see 12,232 views. It is my most watched video in the history of my show. And then on the right side, you'll see 1.3 thousand uh, likes. So this is something that I'm very serious about. And by the way, so, you know, the TDS meter, which is a TDS meter, you'll see it in the video here. It's my blue screen, so you can't see it now. Um, is anywhere between, I, I test the water, anywhere between 490, you know, 500, all the way up, I've had it to 800. And this particular day that I did the video, it was 750 totally dissolved solvents in the water. So without further ado, let's go and get into this. Please watch it all the way to the end. It could be shocking. It will be revealing. And it will also test how you feel about water. And uh, don't, this is for information purposes only. And please check it out. This is Maricopa's water. Welcome to Alpo, episode number 103, 103. This is the water that comes out of your tap. 
Perhaps you drink it every day. Did you also know that this is also your tap water? The same water as this. You don't believe me? Watch this. Here's what we're going to do. This is a TDS meter. See it? This measures the total dissolved solvents in the water. The pure distilled water has two TDS, which means two totally dissolvents. The tap water on the right has 757 totally dissolved solvents. They're both at room temperature is about 85 degrees. We're going to take this precipitator even okay. and we're going to turn on as you can see on the right starting to bubble up what we're going to do is keep an eye on the temperature it was measured at 85.5 degrees for both sides, room temperature. It takes about maybe four minutes for this to begin to the, the whole process. But as you can see on the right, the water started to get green probably some algae and the temperature is rising on the right and staying the same on the left <laughs> continuing the solvents are dissolving now The one on the left is staying basically the same. Room temperature. And the one on the right is now at 113 degrees. The reason for the heating up would be probably the heavy metals that are in the water. The one on the left, still the 84. On the right, 133. So it's heating up. This is the tap water from Arizona. eighty four on the left one forty one fifty one fifty one ice temperature and we don't want to get it past two hundred we'll be turning it off before that and then you'll be able to clearly see what is in the water. Oops. 85 on the left. One seventy one eighty one. When these solvents dissolve, 
and the metals heat up. This is the tap water dissolving. Only four. Eighty five. As you can see, there's a small tent on the left. So there's a couple of dissolved solvents that's coming out. On the right, which is tap water, at 757 TDS. 186. We're getting ready to turn it off. This is very hot, very hot. Let's see if we can take a look in here. As you can see, so now which one would you drink? Another one I would. Pretty clear. Now let's talk about what's in the water. Well, I bet that was kind of mind blowing there. What's in the water? Okay, it's dissolved solvents that's in your water. Okay, did you? You probably never seen this before. Now, maybe you have seen this online, but you never see anybody actually take the temperature, which pretty much proves it. There's all kinds of things to renege on this thing here. But again, the proofs in your eyes. Okay, you see how it, it's settled down since I did the video, so it's been about 10 minutes. You see how it's settling down? That's, that's what's in your water. So would you rather drink? My recommendation is to get the best filtered water that you can get. And even the bottled water out there is deceiving. So you have to be able to do this on your own. So uh, what's in the water? What's in this water? Well, we, we mentioned uh, heavy metals. These are possibilities of what's in the water, all right? Um, zinc. Now let's go back. Heavy metals real quick here. Heavy metals, that's what heats up, all right? There's metals. There's uh, zinc in there. It's a possibility. Also lead, copper. Uh, antibiotics, they can't get antibiotics out of the water. They, I mean, they can't because they only, each water treatment center only takes out so much different kinds. And it's not antibiotics. Prescription drugs, manganese. These are all possibilities. C cadmium. Uh, there's bacteria. Uh, I didn't even mention algae, okay? There's also viruses. Remember, they can't tell when a virus is in there until the people get the virus. Then they go and test the water. 
So if there's a virus in the water, you don't know until someone gets the water. Carcinogens. Phosphorus. Detergents. Pesticides. Mercury. Arsenic. You probably heard not too long ago, a crystal geyser had uh, had all this water had to be taken back because it had arsenic in the water. Chlorine. Chlorine in the body. Fluoride. Silicone compounds. Inorganic minerals. Inorganic minerals are the minerals that the body doesn't need. Some say that the distilled water takes out inorganic minerals. It takes it not, takes out the organic minerals, but no one ever fails to mention that the inorganic minerals is the things that you want taken out. Also, there has been people have found jet fuel in it. So what you have to do here is one thing to decide is get a distiller to be sure. Now, someone will say that the minerals, you, you shouldn't have, you need there are good minerals you get your minerals out of your food you do not get it out of your water the purer the water the better it cleans the actual body and it goes straight through the blood brain barrier so it goes right in immediately and hydrates your brain i hope this gives you some type of insight about your water please check your water you can get this TDS meter um, on Amazon, get you a digital tester, and also you can get this precipitator for about 20 bucks. Check your water, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this has helped you. And please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Well, I hope that was educational for you. Um, uh, I hope you were shocked as well as I was. Um, actually, somebody had uh, done that uh, for me about 13 years ago. They wanted me to test my water, and I told them how great my water was. I had a Berkey system, and it was that's when I was introduced to the TDS met, uh, meter. And then also, you know, this precipitator. You can get this precipitator online. Um, 20 bucks. So you have to take your individual. This is not good. We can't go and go and filter the, the rivers. None of us have time. A lot of us are too old for that. So I hope this brings some questions for you. And like I said, my whole thing is for, you know, everyone to get their a stiller. If you just to make sure bottled water um, is plastic. You know how hot it is here. Your plastic bottle water, even if it's distilled, you can say you can say, well, OK, it's a certain kind of plastic that doesn't. OK. Time is always told when you have those in the containers that it changes the water even a little bit. Plastic is not what we want. So please, uh, I want to thank you for this time. Um, you know, thanks for uh, doing the votes there. And certainly, uh, I hope you all go forward. Give me your opinions. And also, please um, subscribe to my channel right here. Just click on there. Um, there's a couple more videos here. Maricopa Living, okay? Now, my other channel is Alpo Show. Uh, also, where I have all kinds of different things that I teach about, discuss, talk about the news. Uh, if you're interested, please go over there. Uh, otherwise, I will be posting. I always try and post once or twice a week um, on here. And I will be posting again here Monday and Tuesday about some new businesses, local businesses that we want to bring out because that's what it's about. But this one was special. Please prepare wisely as we go forward because I do not see it getting better. Okay, so thank you so much. We'll see you.